This is Sir Francis Drake, one of England's greatest seafaring heroes. He was skilled, bold, and had an uncanny ability to be at the right place at just the right time. Some call it luck or intuition. Whatever it was, he had it, and it helped to save England. This is Drake's home, Buckland Abbey. It's located near the southwest coast of England, in Devon, not far from Plymouth. Drake, who was born in nearby Tavistock sometime around 1540, purchased the Abbey in 1581 from Sir Richard Granville. The Abbey was founded by Cistercian monks in 1278. When England broke with the Roman Catholic Church during the reign of King Henry VIII, the monasteries were dissolved and sold or given to friends of the king. The Granville family spent 40 years renovating the building into a country manor. Drake bought the estate soon after being knighted by Queen Elizabeth I for his circumnavigation of the globe. His voyage took from 1577 to 1580. Drake was the first English sea captain to sail around the earth and only the second in history. He wasn't on a scientific journey. He was a privateer, part of the Queen's private and secret navy. He'd been given a letter of mark authorizing him to attack Spanish ships in interest anywhere in the world. England and Spain were mortal enemies, but not yet at war. If a privateer was killed or captured, it would give the crown, as we say today, plausible deniability. Drake headed for the Caribbean and the Spanish main. To the Spanish, he was El Drake, the dragon. His objective was Spanish gold and silver. Privateers got to keep a large share of the booty they seized, and when he returned to England, he was a very wealthy man. Drake didn't purchase Buckland to live a quiet country life. He was made mayor of Plymouth and he served in Parliament. He was also made vice admiral of the English fleet, which sailed out of Plymouth in 1588 to meet and defeat the invading Spanish Armada. In 1595, he left Buckland on a voyage to attack the Spanish in Puerto Rico. His luck ran out. Drake died in 1596 of dysentery off the coast of Panama, where he was buried at sea in full armor in a lead-lined casket. He was in his mid to late 50s. Drake's descendants lived at Buckland Abbey until 1938. In 1948, it was gifted to the National Trust and opened to the public in 1951. The Plymouth City Council and Museum of Art help run Buckland. The museum exhibits part of its collection here. There are many items here that belong to Drake, including his war drum, which is said to beat on its own whenever England is threatened. Drake was given a royal crest for his service to Queen and Country. The motto? Great things from small things come. Buckland Abbey is a great place to visit for those wanting to know more about Drake and the Elizabethan era. Travel is one of the few things that we can buy that will make us richer.